All right, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and today we're gonna to be turning this barrel into a couple of grow beds for an aquaponics or hydroponics system. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is pick out barrels. You can find these things everywhere. Craigslist, uh, garage sales, driving down the street, stopping industrial parks, food factories, uh, whatever. Yeah, you can find these things everywhere. They range from 10 to, I've seen them up to $20 per barrel. I generally pay about 15 bucks a barrel on Craigslist. I find them locally here. So it's important to find barrels that you know what's been in them. Uh, there are a lot of people out there that will say that these are good for rain barrels and all these kinds of things on Craigslist and then uh, come to find out they have had fuel in them or something else. Uh, I ran into that the other day, uh, in fact, and that's why it's taken me so long to get started with this project. But uh, these ones here I found are awesome. They have a deionized water in them, so they've basically, they're used for medical use, I think, and they've just had uh, basically purified water in them. Uh, and so these are perfect for our uh, aquaponics or hydroponics systems. You want to stay away from anything that's had any type of fuel products in it. The white barrels generally have other types of things in them. Um, I've bought white barrels in the past and they've had a cleaner in them, which was safe, a food, food safe uh, type of cleaner. It was like a, um, an alkaline cleaner or something like that. And uh, so you can go that route if you want to, but the best way to go is something that had a food product in it. I've seen these full of syrup and all kinds of stuff like that. Or of course, if they've had water in them, that's even better. So these are perfectly clean and actually already sanitary barrels. Um, this, these are also, all of these 55 gallon drums, whether they're white or blue, are HDCP, I believe it is, type of plastic, which is considered by the FDA as a food grade plastic. That's what a lot of our uh, food is packed in. Um, whether, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of using plastic and food together, but uh, for aquaponics and stuff like that, there's not a whole lot of other choices. So um, once you have your barrels selected, we'll go ahead and get them marked and cut. All right, so now that we've got our barrel selected, we're gonna go ahead and get this cut up into two grow beds. So each 55 gallon drum will make two grow beds. A um, couple tools that I like to use, um, I've got a, a circular saw here, handheld circular saw. You could also use a, a jigsaw, a handheld jigsaw as well, or even an angle grinder or something like that if you want to. But I found this to be the quickest uh, with just a rough cut blade in it. It doesn't have to be anything special. And then I also just made this little kind of a jig or it's kind of almost like a square. Uh, and this is going to help us just draw our lines. There are a lot of different ways to do this. This is just what I found to be uh, easiest. I'm also going to be using a uh, washable marker. Uh, the first ones I did, I used permanent marker on everything, and I thought I could just take some alcohol to it and wipe it off, but it doesn't come off quite that easy. So uh, use a washable marker. You know, as long as you don't wipe it off before you make your line or make your cuts, then you'll be fine. You can wipe it right off. So I'm going to be using that today. Uh, so I'll take you in close here to show you how we're getting it marked out so that we can get an even two uh, half barrels here. Okay, so the way I like to do the grow beds is I actually like to split the barrel right down the center this way. Uh, I've done them both ways and I actually like to do it this way because then you have the use of both of these bungs. So if you wanna do an external bell siphon or um, you know drain them or do anything like that, you can use these threaded fittings, which is nice. Um, I'm actually gonna be using this, uh, the barrels I'm making here for something different other than a grow bed, but this is the same, same exact process. So I need to have these uh, threaded bungs in place. So basically the first thing we want to do is just measure right down, there's a seam that goes right down the center of this barrel. And we're going to measure the total distance of our barrel here right down that seam, which is 23 and a quarter. And so we're splitting that directly in half, we're going to be at 11 and 5 eighths. So we're going to make a mark at 11 and 5 eighths. Okay, so we've got our mark at 11 and 5 eighths. That's gonna give us the exact center of the barrel here. Okay, and because we know our, our seam is straight here, or we hope it is anyway, we can use that to, as a, uh, a reference here to make a straight line across the barrel. And so I'm gonna use a square and my straight edge here. It'd be nice if I had a, a, a good square, a carpenter square, but I don't, so. Okay, 
That should give us a pretty close reference here. Also want to make sure you mark the edge of the barrel here so we can get our references going down. All right, so now I'm going to use the mark that I have on the top here. And I've got my, this is square to this. And so if I get flat on top of the barrel here and reference that uh, mark coming onto the edge, I should be able to get a pretty close a straight line here coming down the edge. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And we should flip our barrel over and connect the, the two lines that we made here on the bottom. And like I said earlier, I like to use a circular saw, and this seems to uh, cut them cut them very nicely. You want to set your blade fairly deep because uh, as you go around the edges here, you got to get around that plastic. So set your blade uh, pretty deep here and follow the line. All right, and that's all there is to it. You've got two nice and flat and even halves of a 55 gallon drum here that can be used for a grow bed. Um, I'm not gonna show installing them and setting them up and all that stuff, I'll save that for a later video. This is actually gonna start a series that I'm going to do on building an aquaponic system kind of from start to finish um, based on the additions that I'm doing to mine and uh, some of the stuff that I've already done that I'll detail a little bit more. And so this is kind of step one is getting the barrels prepared picking barrels out, getting them prepared, and then uh, we'll get them installed in our system. So we've got two nice equal uh, equal uh, halves here, and, and this should work pretty well for any type of grow bed. I really like using these 55-gallon drums. They're readily available. They're cheap. Um, this is uh, what the FDA considers as a food-grade plastic. Uh, they have the bungs in them, which can be used for all kinds of different things. And so uh, definitely like using these over uh, a lot of other materials. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, a quick one here today, and uh, if you want to see more, uh, please hit the thumbs up button. And uh, like I said, this will start a series, and so as those videos become available, I'll put links to those videos up at the top in the uh, card section, so you can look for that eye uh, in the upper uh, left hand or right hand side of your screen, and uh, check out those videos as well. So love to have you guys subscribe as well to follow along with the progress here, and as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.